And now, Captain America, with the cosmic cube under my control, I will now defeat you once and for all. <laughs> Good and evil locked together in eternal combat. Today, we look at Marvel's greatest rivalry, Captain America and the Red Skull on... Hey, I was using that. Hey, bro, thought you might need a hand. Or a win. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Wanna hang out? Sure, I got nothing else going on. Hey, what about me? This episode is supposed to be about us. Well, forget the rivalry. I guess today's episode is going to be all about one of Marvel's greatest partnerships. It's Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson, best bros for life on Marvel's Long Story Short. Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers, first met the Falcon when he was just plain old Sam Wilson. But when Sam's Falcon handling skills helped defeat the Red Skull, Steve encouraged his new best bud, Miss Falcon Red Wing, to join him in the superhero biz. What do you think? Dude, you look great. <laughs> you too, dude. For a while, Falcon and Cap went their own ways and had their own adventures. <laughs> but when MODOK attacked Harlem with his bulldozer automaton, Falcon and Cap teamed up to take him down and save the neighborhood. Dude, you were awesome. No, you were awesome. Should we make this official? Teammates! As official partners, Sam and Steve took on all sorts of villains. Grey Gargoyle, Kingpin, The Tumbler, Stilt Man, not to mention a bunch of animal-themed baddies like Mole Man, Monsterate, King Cobra, Porcupine. Here's when we had to stop the Mad Bomb that turned people insane. And the time we had to team up with the X-Men to fight the Secret Empire. Or that whole Winter Soldier thing. What was that guy's deal? Oh, you didn't know about Cap's first best friend? Shut up, dude! Me and Steve go way back. Like, way back. So yeah, stuff came along that tested the friendship, like when Bucky Barnes, Cap's best friend from the 40s, returned as a sleeper Hydra agent, the Winter Soldier. I can't believe you never told me about it. Sam, wait! But then came Civil War. Okay, anybody with superpowers, line up here to sign the registration form. Tony Stark teamed up with the U.S. government to create the Superhero Registration Act, a move that didn't sit well with Cap or Falcon. As battle lines were drawn across the superhero community, a lot of friendships were tested. Cap was believed to be assassinated in the fallout of Civil War, leading to the biggest test of their friendship yet. Sam felt lost without his old friend, and Bucky taking over as the new Captain America didn't really help. Can't believe you're wearing that. I knew him first. Steve eventually returns, but a new fight leaves him looking a little different. I want you to have this. You mean it? Yes. Sam was now the official Captain America. And Steve was his guy in the chair, guiding him on the ground. You look great up there. But when Red Skull attacked DC, Sam got his hands on the Cosmic Cube again. I need to stop showing that to everybody. And they used it to turn Steve back into his younger self. This is awkward. Two Captain Americas? Guess fun of you will have to step aside. You can be Captain America. No, you had it first. You be Captain America. Or what if we, we both, both be Captain, Captain America? America? Like the best bros they always were, Sam and Steve decided to share the Captain America mantle. And then there's me, all alone, without a friend in the world. Hey, I'll be your friend. Really? Nah, JK. Oh. But I will see you next time on Marvel's Long Story Short. Oh. Oh.